Hi, I'm Dr. V. I'm Chief of the Spine Pain Program at Bloor Pain Specialists, and today I'm going to be talking about MRI. Facet hypertrophy it means that the facet joint, which is a joint between two vertebrae, and we have many vertebrae. Now, we have 31 levels. Most of them are separate bones. We don't have one spine bone, one tube. We have separate bones, and they have to click into each other. And by the tailbone, they're fused, so they're actually, you know, they're not moving. There is no joint, but everything else has to have a joint. That's how we rotate. That's how we move. That's how we turn. That's how we bend. That's how we flex, extend, and so on. Our joints, and we have one on the left and one on the right between every pair of vertebrae, and those pairs uh, can get arthritis in those joints. As we think about a joint being inflamed, that's where the term arthritis comes in. Arthrosis is the growth of a joint. Sometimes we we'll talk about that in the context of symptoms of the physical exam. Hypertrophy is a more of a direct measure from an MRI. It is a hyper means more or a lot of, and trophy is growth, meaning that the joint has grown bigger than it would be expected to be. Now, granted, there is variability from person to person. We all know that there are people of different heights and different sizes, but there are typical sizes of specific structures in our body, and so these things can be measured. When a radiologist reads an MRI, they can read that portion of an MRI that looks at the joint and says, hey, this one is larger than it should be, and they can measure that compared to the neighbors above or below or to the left or right. They can state that on the left side, there's hypertrophy on one particular level, but not on the right. They can similarly say it's for the upper vertebra or the lower vertebra. When we're talking about upper and lower, clinically, typically, it's the lower ones that are going to get it first. Why? Well, two reasons. Some of the upper ones, the angle of the joint is more up and down. It's more for flexibility, so people can just bend. It's not really that weight-bearing, versus some of the lower joints are more side-to-side, -side so that the joints catch. They're not so much for flexibility as much as they are for weight-bearing. And we have one top, but we have two legs. So something's got to catch that weight and split it, and that tends to happen around our midsection, because that's where our legs start. And that weight distribution is cushioned by a few of those bottom joints before it is transitioned into the leg. And so those lower segments are the ones that bear the brunt of the forces of gravity and grow first, in most cases. Thanks for watching today's video. Please like and subscribe below. If you have any questions that you'd like us to address in a future video, please leave them in the comments area. If you want us to answer any questions about your care specifically, please contact the clinic directly.